All right, well, Artemis 1 lifting off early this morning, bound for the moon. This American rocket here, the first in roughly 50 years to be heading toward the moon. And our very own Matthew Cedar speaking today with an astronaut for more on this mission and what it could mean for the future of space travel. Right now, the Orion capsule is speeding through space and already sending back some just amazing images. This is a little while ago. You can see Earth in the distance. It looks almost like a little marble. This as NASA hopes to return men and now women to the moon. Lift off of Artemis 1. A historic mission launching Americans back to the moon. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Early Wednesday morning, Artemis 1 lifting off from Kennedy Space Center in Florida. There were people crying because of how much work they had put into it. This high school teacher drove down from South Carolina for the launch. <laughs> Three miles away, a crowd of people erupting in awe. It was the uh, first time in my life, and I've been to big sporting events and stuff. I've been to, you know, big car races that I could ever actually feel sound. It shook the bleachers. It pounded in your chest. It shook your body. It was unbelievable how much power um, that that rocket had. The long-awaited launch blasting the Orion capsule on a three-week test mission, 40,000 miles beyond the moon and back. This is a distance farther than any human-rated spacecraft has ever gone before. Just nine hours into flight, Orion sending back this selfie with Earth already 60,000 miles away. 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. I mean, just incredible. That is the most powerful rocket in existence today. <laughs> Former NASA astronaut Robert Satcher watching the Artemis missions closely. His colleagues possibly preparing for the next launch. The views I know are going to be spectacular and the, um, you know, the, the sense of awe and wonder <laughs> once that thing lights off underneath you is, uh, you know, just from my own experiences is really words don't quite capture it. And so this this is really going to be next level. President Joe Biden saying this ship will enable the first woman and first person of color to set foot on the lunar surface. You know, when they had the Apollo missions, that's what inspired me to become an astronaut. And I think that this is going to be inspirational to the next generation. This video taken from the moon in 1971. NASA says they hope to have people back on the moon by 2025. Reporting in Houston, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News.